If you're new to using Microsoft OneNote, you may wonder what those section groups are that you've seen. Maybe when you went to create a section, you saw the option for a section group and you'd like to understand it better. I'll explain what a section group is, why you might use it, and I'll show you how today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Microsoft OneNote's section groups. And you may not even know what that is. So you know that whether you're using OneNote for Windows or you're using just the regular OneNote, you have sections. And on OneNote for Windows, you'll see them on the left-hand side. And for the other version of OneNote, you'll see them at the top. So what exactly is a section group? A section group in Microsoft OneNote is when you can take multiple sections, so those colorful tabs that you have going on, either at the top or on the left, you can group those together in a section group. And so it gives you a way to organize your thoughts and your information a little bit easier. The main reason you would want to create a section group is to organize the information a little better. Maybe you have way too many tabs going on and you need to rein those in and you can see definite groups that would make sense. Um, or you just want to organize it from the beginning and you already know the groups of sections that would make sense. We'll start by looking at the regular OneNote, the one that is with the Microsoft Office Suite. There are only a couple of differences with the OneNote for Windows, so I'll show those briefly to you after we talk through how to create the section groups in the regular OneNote. So we'll be doing a lot of right-clicking on your mouse, and so if you have a regular mouse that is just the rounded one, the right-click should work just like normal. If you have a trackpad, the flat thing that you use as your mouse, you may need to do a two-finger tap on it if you don't have buttons. Here you can see I have a bunch of sections and then I do already have a section group. So this is what they look like. Unfortunately, the color stays that way. It has the multicolor little picture on it. That's the way it's always going to look. So you can't necessarily distinguish the different groupings with different colors, but the tabs within will still be different colors. So let's say I wanted, I've got a computer grouping, maybe I wanted a productivity grouping as well that would have my time management productivity, maybe I'd even put the paper in there. So let's look at how I would create that. You create it by right clicking anywhere, it doesn't matter what tab you're on, it's not automatically going to put that tab into the section group, it's just a way of getting started. So I'm gonna right click here, and here you can see set new section group. So that's what we're going to choose. And you can see that pops up right here. It's immediately blue, which means you can start typing. So I'm going to call this one productivity topics. And I'm doing that just to de designate it from this productivity section here, just so I don't get confused. And if I hit enter, it'll take that. And now it is a section group. If I click in it, there's nothing in here yet. But this does show us how to navigate. Once you click into a section group, you feel like you left your notebook. That is not the case. You are in the section group itself and up here would show those multiple sections, which we'll move in in a minute. How you get back to your notebook is this little green arrow. And you can also use the back arrow here, but the green arrow is a little bit clearer and it's right where you need it to be. So we hit the green arrow and we're right back where we started. It even has the section highlighted that I was on in the first place. Let's move some sections into this group. As I said, I'm going to go ahead and do the paper. All I have to do is click and drag, and you need to hold down that mouse until you get to where you need to go. So we're going to click and drag, and you can see it thinks I'm just moving the tab right now. That's why you see the little arrow, but I'm going to go beyond that. Here, if I was to drop it, it would put me in the computer area. Now you can see what it did. I am still holding down the mouse. It still thinks I wanna put this section in here. I accidentally hovered for a little too long over that section group. I don't want to put it in here. So I'm gonna go hover over my arrow. It's gonna navigate back 
And now I'm going to hover over my productivity topics. If I hover for a long time, it will come in here. And then if I had multiples in here, I could rearrange and put it wherever I wanted. Or I could just drop it. And when I let go, that section has been moved into my section group. Let's do that again. I'm going to hit my back arrow. Now I want to put time management in there. So I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to drop real fast this time. I'm going to drop it. And you can see it disappears from here. And you're like, well, where did it go? We go into productivity topics here. It automatically puts them one after the other. You can still rearrange with that little arrow, that click and drag. So I can drag, drop it where that arrow is. And now it rearranges these for me. Let's do one more. And one thing I want to want you to notice as I do this one, when I come over here to the section groups, you can see there's a tiny little box. That's how I know that it's a place that I could drop that section. Let me show you here. So where the arrows are is where I could drop a section. Here, it would probably drop, you see that little box underneath my mouse that I'm moving around? Here, if I go too far down, it says, nope, you can't put it there. But you can see the little box. If I drop it here, it's probably going to drop it in the computer one. So you want to make sure you get over on top of that one and let go. And you can see again, it disappeared. I can go into my productivity topics and there it is. So now I have my three different productivity topics in my section group. Now we'll pop over to OneNote for Windows, which is this one here. And you can tell by looking at the top bar, top middle of the bar, it should say OneNote for Windows. And it may be Windows 10 or Windows 11, depending on what you have. But this is what it looks like. And you can see the sections are on the left. The one thing I wanted to show you that's slightly different is to create those section groups. You can see it has the ones we've already created. To create a new one, you can right click in the, the blank space here and create a new section group. And then the steps are pretty much the same as they were before. Let's just do a test one here. I'll hit enter like I did before. It automatically puts it at the end, but I could move it around if I want to. And then to add sections to it, just like we did in the other one, you can click and drag and drop it right on top and it'll put that right in there. Or if you want to move it back out, click and drag it out. You can pull it back out. The remainder of the steps that I'll talk about in the video will be the same for both OneNote for Windows and the regular OneNote. Now we'll look at how to make changes to this section group. So I can do that by right clicking right on top of the section group. Here I can rename it and it'll make it blue again. So I could rename it and then you can just hit enter when you're done. I could move it. So let's say I created this section group in a notebook that I didn't mean to make it in. So I can move the entire section group to a different notebook that I have. So that is an option that you have as well. You can also delete the section group if you accidentally make one. Now beware, if you have sections in there, I would recommend moving those out to where they're going to go first, because otherwise you may lose those sections. So be sure to make sure it's a clean section group before you try to delete it. Or if you don't want the sections that are in there, go ahead and delete. The copy link to section group is if you need to get a URL and see this online. Now you would need to be logged in as your Microsoft account in order to see it, but that's what that's for. And then of course we have our original new section and new section group options that are available when you right click here as well. We won't go through all of these. These are options for the sections themselves and we're just focusing on our section groups today, but that is where you go. Again, that was a right click or a two finger tap if you have a trackpad. And that's how you do your section groups. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with an answer. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell, you'll be able to receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.